So I've, I've pulled the, the uh, drive and output wheels off the uh, pulleys, off the drive all unit, and uh, I've washed it down with a degreaser. I don't think it needs much else. I mean, I could make it into a showpiece, but it's not really, you know, like the fender of an old cord. It's just a piece of cast iron. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave it pretty much as it is in terms of finish. So what do I need to do, I think, at this point, I've gotten all of the heavy oil and residue off it. And I think it's pretty clean. I mean, I'm picking up some stuff still. This is in the liquids. Hiding around the corners and all. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, still kind of dirty. Dirtier than I kind of like it. Um, I want to get it painted the same color as the machine. Um, I'm going to leave the motor motor colored, although I probably yank the motor off the base and change the base into a uh, machine color. This right here, I definitely want to have machine color. It's kind of two-toned now. I don't know when it was red. Most of these you see around are mostly gray. When I picked this up, this came with a lathe. It's the speed reducer from the 1725 RPM electric motor to the 300 RPM of the line shaft, I believe. Um, anyway, I, I got this one came with a motor. It's, it's its transmission. Came with a lathe. I picked up another one. I don't need it. I, I, I have another tool. Got an old bandsaw you've not seen. It uh, currently has an electric motor on it and a bunch of pulley, blah, blah, blah. But I'd like to get a different motor for it. And in the process of doing that, I'll switch it over and put a drive ball on it so I could have some speed selection on it because not everything needs to go ding a ding a ding, you know. Anyway, so that's my dream. So this guy, thank you very much, Dave, um, had two dry balls, one on this lathe and one sitting waiting for an application. And I talked him out of the other one, which was nice. It's nice he gave it up. I'm not sure I would have. But you don't usually see these these days a lot. I, I've not seen one that wasn't attached to, to a machine. So to get one, you have to buy the damn machine. And then, of course, you didn't really get ahead because you still need one. So I consider myself lucky at the moment. And I'm going to go with that. Right, so I think next I'm going to do spray it down with brake cleaner to wash and rinse all of this stuff off. Then sort of get a rag and pad that dry. And then uh, change the feet something that isn't like this. Maybe just get a piece of wood. I got wood. Um, and do the feet. Spray everything down with the brake cleaner. Wipe it off again. And then I guess uh, do some taping and prime it. I don't have much for taping. This shaft, this shaft. I don't care about this. These two shafts here badge on the front. There's a badge on both sides for reasons that I don't know, because I guess this is universal. I'm actually, I think, using it wrong. I think that I'm uh, using it wrong. I think I'm using it backwards, I think. I think I'd like to change that, so I use it frontwards. 
But I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. I don't know that I've got what it takes to make that change. What I'm trying to say is I think that this is the feed and that's the output. When I put this on in and over to here and I turn this, that turns very fast. When I pull this out and turn it to there, this turns very slowly. So I think it's being used backwards. And I think I can push this pin out and put it in here so that it actually works the correct way. I think I should try that. This is the time. Or <laughs> I could uh, I could send the guy I bought it from an email and ask him why it's the way it is, and he might tell me, and then I'd actually know something rather than just shooting my mouth off. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay. Let's get some uh, brake cleaner on that. Uh, less dirty. Still not as cool as it could be. All right, we'll get back. So I believe that this has been put on wrong. Um, I believe this says this is the input and this is the output. I mean, it does. I don't believe that. It says that. I believe that they're using this backwards. Why, I don't know. I'm going to guess that unless there's something about the gears that I don't know, because I can't see inside, and I'm not really all that interested in finding out because it's just so little I can do. I'm not a machinist. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that there's a big oil sump in here and there are gears in it, right? Dipstick, drain plug, yeah. Um, this, and I, I, when I first gave this a turn, this one turns, you know, when this goes around one time, this seems to go around three times, which isn't a problem, except that says it's in low. When I put it in high, it doesn't do the same thing. So the real whole point is, this is the input. I just, I didn't see this before. This says input. So it's, this is backwards. <coughs> it's been on the machine backwards for a long time. Talked to the previous owner. He said it was backwards. It was like this when he bought it and always used it this way, although he didn't use it much. At least others used it more. I mean, he, he only used it for maybe a couple of years at his previous location. And I think he said it wasn't, it was off to the side. It, they, it had fallen into disuse. Some other machine had achieved favor. Anyway, um, this is where I get into trouble. I think I want to put this the right way, which to my way of thinking means moving the handle to there. It's got a drive pin and a drive pin hole. That shouldn't be a problem. It'll facilitate the painting of the underside of this, not that that's a big deal. I need to move this bracket from here to here. This bracket holds a belt pulley guard, which you can imagine when this machine was built, it didn't have guards for the pulleys, but now we do. So we'll put one on. Um, and 
swapping the wheels, well, the, sh the shaft diameters are the same on both sides, and, and the keys are the same on both sides. So it really won't effing matter. And if there is anything directional about the way the gears are set in this thing, it will run better, smoother, I think. It's enough to make me want to do it. Once again, this is where I get myself into gobs of trouble, and, and I relish it. So I'm going to try to drive this pin out, then I'm going to yank this off, loosen this, and then I think it's, it's tape over the badges, because I don't think I want to worry about them. Tape up the shafts and spray a coat of primer on it, because I've cleaned it. I think I've cleaned it as much as I'm going to. So that's where I am. Pardon me for getting in the way. I assume this pin, this is a split pin, should go either way. Okay, and it is indeed going either way. I'm about to get this stuck in there, which I don't want to do. Let me shift to another tool. Be right back. All right, that should do. All right. Well, that's easy enough. Now that handle should come right off. There's no particular reason for that to be a press-on fit. Says me. Split pin. Leave that there. All right, handle. Look at that. See that? Super. Super. So a little clean up on this. Put something on out of four. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna do a little bit more sanding on this. I think I can, and uh, shoot a coat of primer on it, hang it up, and then come back and start uh, doing the other things that need to be done on this thing isn't much. Isn't much. I want to get rid of this. This is a part of the tool that so slipped in under that bolt. And this machine appears to be symmetrical. That's what I think now. This bolt is coming out hard. Wow, that sure is. Probably leave this bolt out. Leave the bracket off until I get it installed in this new location. This is all gearing up to putting this part of the machine back together. I don't know if you remember this part, but I, I ran out of paint, my shop machine paint. I ordered another case of it, but it has not come in yet. Could just be kidding myself if this ever going to come in. You know how that goes. All right. Wow. That's a beautiful thing. Why so many washers? I don't know. That, put aside. That, I think I'm going to. Mmm, boy, that's filthy. It's, uh, Plug the hole and clean around it. Let's uh, put cleaner on this rag and clean it with the rag.
All right, that should do. All right, let's um, dress up that bolt. Need one more. These don't even have washers. Let me forego the washer. New bolt. That's interesting. It's a new bolt. The old bolts weren't long enough? It's possible. That's why the washers. Huh. All right. Well, there you go. Let's, let's be smart. Let's take this bolt off because that's what's going to happen. I'm going to guess that the bolts will be different lengths. These were a custom length bolt, and that one is longer because it's an off the shelf piece because there wasn't room for the extra thickness of the bracket. Wow. This is more thinking than I usually have to do. This all works out. And there it is. The lengths are different. That's why this was so hard because it was driven into the hole deeper. Wow, lots going on. I'm going to put this in here. Go. I don't think that these bolts do much other than hold the top down. I don't think they're holding anything in alignment or anything. All right, that's what I'm thinking right now. We'll we'll know better soon. All right. Wow, this is terrific. Tape, tape up the shiny parts, and we'll put that bolt back in here. We'll put these two washers on it so I remember. That should work. That should work. Right?
right? That's that. I want to, uh, oh, yeah, check for oil. Looks like it was drained and refilled with oil because the oil is clean. That's great. I just want to put a little plug in there. That's great. That should take care of it. You round this a little bit more. Yeah. I, okay, that's nuts. I know. Okay. But now, you can patch the badges. And, uh, that. Well, here we go. This is the next big transformation. So I'm going to try to get the underside of this as best I can without tipping the whole thing over. I don't know how that's going to work out. All right. I can't just throw it on the side because of the oil. I'd be easy. So this is what I'm going to do. Fortunately, much of this doesn't get seen. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing from the other side. Hopefully I won't get any on you. Sides of the pads don't matter because well they're going to be setting on the machine on brackets I believe that's how I see this thing working anyway all right This has been really well cared for over the years and there's no rust on it, which is, you know, really refreshing, right? So I guess this isn't really tool rescue. It's just fixing up for new shops.
Look at that. I can even rattle the can with my left hand. It makes me almost going to be dexterous. This is great. As long as I don't end up shooting myself in the foot by the swapping thing. And the truth is, if that goes south, I can just move it around because it's very symmetrical. I don't have to cut anything to make it fit. I'm just going to swap the things back and forth. I think that's better. All right. Um, a little bit on the foot. Oh, it looks good. I mean, it's a great primer out of a rattle can. It looks damn good, right? <laughs> All right, stop, stop, stop. Done, done, great. All right. Um, good. All right, let that dry. Got the other one drying. All right. Now, uh, move on to something else. I'm going to do the top as a bracket that this whole thing sets on that's bolted to the back of the lathe. I'll bring around, I'll show you that. All right, so here's that bracket. Now, I don't know whose bracket this was. It, 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 it wasn't a ridiculous afterthought, but I can't help but think that it was uh, the people that made the lathe that made the bracket, but it, it could be Drywall made the bracket. I really don't know. It seems to fit their scheme of the inch and a quarter bar stock that goes on the top that everything hangs on, regardless of who made it. I don't yet have all my paint in, so I can't clean it and paint it. But I can, I, I got a little bit of paint, and to keep the thing moving along, I want to take the top six inches of this thing and paint it. So that I can start the reassembly process of the motor housing and the drywall bracket and the rest of that, while I still don't have all of my paint. So, top piece of this thing I want to get painted. So that's what I'm going to work on next. Now this is really rough, you can probably see, it's pretty rough on the inside. I'm not going to worry about it. It doesn't show, it doesn't matter, it's part of the sand casting. I could get in there and detail it, but to no useful end. So I'm just going to clean it and paint it the way it is, because that's what I need to do right now. Enough said. Moving along. Most of this is just superficial grime. I mean, really, not like uh, not like those bracket parts that were soaked in the drippings. This is just a uh, really superficial. Heavy dust from uh, the shop, you know. Anyway, good. This will take that any film. I've done all the sanding I'm going to do on this. I want to prime it and, like I say, get a finish on the top six inches of it or so. I, can, I don't have, I'm, I'm shy on finish, so I can't go crazy on the finish. I can keep buying primer though, so I can prime this thing to death. There's a couple of places where the paint film was scuffed. I've sanded them so that they're smooth, you know, auto body kind of sanding. Who the hell knows? This is 
This is just dirty. And it's going to get... Oh, there's a name on this. Wow, it says drive all. So this is part of, this was part of the drive all kit when this was converted to electric motor drive. Wow, so drive all made this bracket and supplied the bars. That makes sense because these bars are s s sort of unique. Very cool. Well, now I know all that. I hadn't seen that stamp in there before. It's nice. This stuff, along with getting rid of all of the errant grease, is also uh, dries quickly. And uh, tastes wonderful. Oof. Oof. All right. So good, good, good. So I'll get the primer up. I'll prime this whole thing as soon as it, this dries, which should just be a few minutes. I'll get a little tape on the edge of the lathe. I'm not going to take this down again. You know, ever. I, it's real obvious looking at it, the, the previous owner, when they put this machine gray paint on, uh, di didn't disassemble this. Just uh, painted it as it was. You can see a little, they painted it by brush. You can see a little bit of a uh, splash. I'll throw a cover on this thing and spray it because I'm I'm, you know, not very talented, so I'm going to spray can the thing. All right, a um, little tape, a little shroud, and a uh, can of paint. Let's move on to that. That would be fun. Feels productive, you know. Way cool. All right, shrouding. Like that. That's it. That's nice. Well, I should do this for a living. That's great. All right, let this dry. Be back in just a couple minutes. Let this dry. I want to tape the insides of these things also, don't I? Let's do that while I'm right here. Okay, that really doesn't matter. All right, move on to the other one. Casting through a little bit rough on the edges, so it's a little bit less than the simple slide the razor blade along the edge sort of thing. But I'm getting it, getting it. And every now and then I get a good cut, and that's nice. I think I've also dulled the crap out of my blade. I don't think think is actually, I know that I've dulled the crap out of my blade. All right, I 
think. Okay, that's it. I'm taped and I think I'm masked, cleaned. It's spray can time. It's great. Where do you want to be? Um, I mean, you could be here. <sighs> yeah, why not? Beautiful. Super. I can't tell if I've missed anything. Maybe you can. Give me a hand. Let me know. <laughs> anyway. All right. Got that done. Moving right along. I tell you, I'm setting this thing on fire. 